Hello and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is my channel update for the month of April 2021. And to start with, I just want to say a huge sorry for not being able to get any channel updates out this year. I've just been so snowed under with things and the channel update is something that I've been doing every month since I started the channel. But I just wanted to get something quick out there just to tell you what we've got planned going forward with the channel. Before I jump into this, I just want to put things into perspective. So since my last channel update, which was back in December, in the last four months, we've gained 7,446 subscribers. So a huge welcome to everybody who's new here. And that's pretty much half of my audience has just found my channel in the last four months. So as you can imagine, I've been quite surprised at the growth. And my top video at the moment is part one of getting started on the island and my Complete Arc series. So couldn't be happier. It's a huge thing. I've been working on the Complete Arc series for a while and it's great that people are starting to find it. So thank you everyone who's new here this year and 2021 has been the fastest growing year for my channel so far. I also want to say a big thank you to my patrons. I don't get enough of a chance to say thank you to you guys, but everyone who's helping me on Patreon side, you really have helped improve my content. I've been able to upgrade. We're now using Adobe Premiere Pro to edit on. That's why my videos have slowed down a little bit because I've been using Premiere Pro and it's a whole new editing software that I've had to wrap my head around. I've been using Sony Vegas for several years now and over the last couple of months uh, I've decided to upgrade and give Premiere Pro a try and it's just a whole new bunch of software that I've had to learn so it has slowed me down and uh, it has slowed my output of videos down. But that being said, I hope the quality is improving as well. I've also been able to get some more hard drive storage so I can record some of the videos. So without the help from Patreon, I certainly wouldn't have been able to make the upgrades to my channel. So thank you very much for that. So during April, I do want to get a guide out on Aberration before we start that playthrough. And I also want to do my single player settings guide as well because a few things have changed since Wildcard has made some updates. So I want to make sure that everybody's aware aware of the settings that I'm using for Aberration and those of you that are following the, the playthrough. There is a few changes Wildcard have made to their own base settings so I just want to do a new guide for 2021 and uh, show you the settings that I've now changed. I've brought XP down to level 1 because it comes at a really really fast work rate now and Wildcard made a few changes to the XP gathering rates so I've made a couple of changes to the guide. Also the night cycle is different on Aberration so I I will be setting the times to be much more balanced as they would be on an official server. So expect a guide on Aberration and the single player settings guide as well. As for the Aberration playthrough itself, I will be starting that at some point during April but when I get it out I'm not quite sure. I have already done some bits for the intro on Aberration and uh, I'm really looking forward to starting that playthrough but at the moment it's just on the back burner while I get a couple of other projects finished. I will also be finishing off the note read through shortly after this channel update is up there's going to be part one of the one who waits notes so don't forget to look out for that one and then I've only got to do part two and I've completely finished with the note read through and I'll be putting that into one playlist on the channel. Of course a few of you know I've already started Valheim as another playthrough really enjoying that game so I will be bringing a little bit more content on Valheim throughout the month of April. But there is another series that's going to be starting very soon. So for those of you who are members of my Discord, you'll know that we've had an ARK survival server running for quite a long time now. But it's been very difficult for me to make content on it. That's why this month we're going to be relaunching the server. I'm going to be setting the mods myself and to be honest with you, other than the stack mod and uh, a storage mod that I'm going to be using, this is going to be mainly vanilla settings and all of the mods that I'm going to be adding are mainly for cosmetic differences. There is a majority of people who ask if I would show things in a little bit more detail or just slow things down and I'm not going to be changing the format of the Complete Arc series but however I do want to play on the server and I want to put out one extra video a week on Arc so it is just going to be that. We will have the intention of eventually completing Ragnarok but the main intention for this server being started is to get ready for Gen 2. I'm going to be putting Genesis 2 on there as well as another map and as soon as that's released we'll be going into doing some Gen 2 content. But I want to make something on the community map. 
Uh, it will be the first long Let's Play that I do that doesn't really have a completion goal. It's just going to be fun. I'm just going to be building, taming things that perhaps we don't necessarily need and just playing the general game of Ark from week to week. This isn't replacing Aberration or any other content, but what with the note read through finishing soon, I figured that I should be able to do Valheim, Aberration and an episode from Ragnarok as something extra. And that's my aim to get into May is to be aiming for around two to three videos a week. When it comes to the complete arc stuff, sometimes I can have 18 to 20 hours of footage that I squeeze into about 20 minutes and couple that with all of the edits and things that I do in there. It, it can be a little bit time consuming making them episodes. So Ragnarok is going to be a little bit different. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to be editing the footage, but it's going to be more common place amongst what you would see other youtubers doing and just another little play on the side if anyone's on pc and you'd like to join the discord and you fancy being part of this map well details are on my discord so you're welcome to join to find out more so i'll expect to do some of the missions and caves with various members of the community and uh, yeah it'll just be exciting to be on a giant map like ragnarok so i'm really looking forward to getting started on that playthrough and i hope you guys enjoy following along with that one too as well, we do get a few questions about Subnautica coming in. I would like to continue with Below Zero at some point in the future. And that's had some major updates now, so it is looking good. So at some point, I would like to bring Subnautica 2 to the channel. But for the moment, we're just going to be concentrating on Ragnarok with the community server, which of course is going to be going into Genesis Part 2. So yeah, that's about it. That covers it from myself. Again, thank you very much to everybody who's joined and subscribed and left some kind words on the videos. It's really helping out massively. I should have the next video up as well in a few hours time. So don't forget to check the last two parts of The One Who Waits story out. But that's it for this brief update. Like I say, come and check out the Discord if you want to be joining up with the new map and the new series that I'm going to be starting. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.